welcome to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to turn your favorite happy planner or personal planner into a digital planner so in order to do that i'll be using the app on the ipad called good notes so i'm going to go ahead and go to that now okay so this is good notes app what you are going to do is press the new button Go to scan documents and it's very similar to the other scan digital planner video that I uploaded live. Um, it should be on my channel, um, on, in my channel under videos. It's very similar to that. However, now you don't need to have a personal printer with scanning capabilities. You can just use your iPad So in your planner and that's it. So you'll get the planner in range. And the good thing about GoodNotes, if you see that blue, that's the scanning capability helping you out. Um, and if it doesn't line up accurately, it's okay. So what you're gonna pay attention to is those circled corners there. You wanna line those up with the corners of your planner or the corner of the page. You'll select keep scan. And this is the shot of your digital planner. You can hit retake if you would like to hit a different angle or you would like to get the foil perfect because I know foiling can be hard to photograph. But if you would like to get the foil to pop in another way, you can always select retake. For purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna go ahead and click done. And it also allows you to take another page. So let's go ahead. I love this sheet here, my planner. So I'm going to get a scan of that. Because I would like my digital planner to have it as well. Okay, so here's an example of when you don't get all of the corners in the shot. You can just move these little circled corners here to the page if you would like to get the months in there you can for this page i don't want the monthly tabs to be shown so i'm just going to move this circle here to the corner good notes has a real cool zoom in feature as soon as you press that button that helps you get that corner selected perfectly and we'll just move that a bit we'll just select keep scan and now I have that sheet in my digital planner. So let's go to January. And to scan it, there we go. It is registering these other boxes. But GoodNotes did a good job on getting that whole sheet. So we'll just select keep scan. Now we'll get this side of our planner. GoodNotes does a really good job on not getting those small circles and actually getting the whole page. At first, I was going to wait and try to get it lined up perfectly to where the blue is showing, but you really don't have to. GoodNotes has a way of finding the edge of the page without you having to do that. So don't feel hesitant. Just go ahead and click the, the shutter button. And see how it only selected that? That's okay because we'll drag that on over to the corner of the page. And luckily you don't have to do this with every page. And even if you did, it does not take long. It's a lot faster than the other method of using a scanner where you have to place the planner on the scanner, press scan, look and make sure it's on the iPad. This is a lot faster because you're doing it all through GoodNotes. So we'll keep this page and we'll go to the next one. There we go. But let's do the back of the the back of the planner as well. For in just in case there is anyone who would like the back of their cup their planner to be on their digital planner as well, just to give that real hard copy feel. It's not perfect, but that is fine with me. Keep scan. 
So we'll save seven. So now Good Notes is importing the document and recognizing the text that's on the page. Perfect, so now the digital planner is here. So we have our front page, and you'll just tap to go to the next page. There's our January. Perfect. I'm going to grab my Apple Pencil so I can show you how easy it is, how actually it's a lot easier to write on the digital planner than the paper planner. Um, one note that I would also like to mention about having your happy planner or your personal planner on your GoodNotes app is that it's much lighter to carry and to just have everything with you while you're on the go. You don't have to make space in your planner bag or any, or any work bag or anything like that. You can just take your iPad, which can house your other documents as well. Okay, so I'm back with the Apple Pencil and I am going to write on my digital planner. Good notes allows you, you have all these colors, so another reason why the digital planning could be cheaper on your pockets and easier for you is that you don't have to carry all these pins, you don't have to purchase all these different colors, you can select whichever color you prefer to write in. I personally just prefer to write in a black pen. When I'm writing things in my planner and if I want to highlight it or color code it, then I would select the highlighting tool and highlight it that way with all these different color options that I didn't have to pay separately for. So on the first, Happy Planner already has New Year's Day, but maybe on this day, let me see who has it. There's a birthday on the 8th, so I could use this zoom in feature if I would like and write birthday and whoever's birthday it is or I could place a digital sticker there for birthday and if I don't want to use the zoom in feature um, and I just want it to be a lot faster I can just write birthday there um, my handwriting is cricket because I have this mount in front of me but I'm just showing you like how easy it is for you to write something down in your planner and erase it. One thing about um, a, hand, a hard copy of your planner is that if you write something down and you don't have a good eraser or if you write it with a pen, you have to use Tombow Whiteout, which I love the Tombow um, correction tape. However, it's more expensive than just writing, make a mistake, and erasing it. Or if you place a digital sticker down on your digital planner and you decide you don't want it there, because we do that as planners, we'll place something down and be like, you know what, it'll look better in another spot. With a digital planner, you can just do the undo button or the redo button to see where you would like it to be placed on the paper without ruining your paper. I'm gonna go over and reiterate like some of the also store your old planner on your digital um, electronic so as far as me I have an older planner and I have some old months in here that I like to keep them because they're so stinking cute but carrying that around like all those months around that you like you put work in on those weekly spreads you had a great time creating them they look gorgeous but carrying them around always isn't always feasible or suitable to have like 18 past months in your planner when you already have 12 months or six months, however you like to do it in your happy planner. Go ahead and scan those old sheets into GoodNotes. That way you have them, you can have them to refer back to. I know when I make my annual dent or health checkup appointments, I can look back in my old planners because I have them scanned in GoodNotes. I'm like, oh, you know what? I did go in August 17th just for like my annual checkup and my wellness visit. So I still have it without my shelves being full and contained with old planners that I won't grab that often. So any of you who are looking to be more minimalistic in your happy planner or your planner needs, I definitely recommend going digital, um, but still using a hard copy because I love my hard copy planner, but I don't need all my three past planners on my shelf when I can just convert them into a digital planner and still have them. 
and it doesn't take away from the color or the feel yeah i still have the ability to write on them and everything so go ahead guys um give it a shot give it a try let me know how it works for you if you like it if you don't if there's any um help that you would need on how you can make it more versatile for you go ahead and put it in the comments and let me know but until then go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye